We're here at the World Export Development Forum and we've just finished the panel on green trade. And here, two of the panelists are here with us from Mongolia in the new Ministry of Economy and Development and from Malaysia, from the organization called Matrade, which helps exporters in getting into uh, other economies and other parts of the world. Let's start with you. Thank you, Natalie. So, as you may know, Mongolia is uh, known for uh, mineral resource uh, as a mineral resource rich country. But you also need to learn that Mongolia is also a uh, renewable energy resources rich country. Our uh, sunny days and windy days are uh, well known for uh, for uh, Asia, and we are aiming to be a renewable energy export country. But it's not very easy to make mm -hmm. the switch. There are so many issues along the way. If you had a top suggestion mm -hmm. for people in your country, what you can do to move things faster, what would you say? Mm -hmm. One thing. <laughs> uh, good understanding and partnership, cooperation. Oh, three words, I think. <laughs> understanding, partnership, cooperation, one of the themes of the conference. And Malaysia is maybe one step ahead because you are rebranding, not just in terms of an image, but the whole economy, you're trying to make uh, a switch. So what's happening? Thank you, uh, Natalie. <clears throat> yes, um, today's session is very useful in terms of understanding the challenges of uh, implementing green trade. I think to move the sustainability agenda forward and lending, I'm sharing the Malaysian experience Number one, you got to have the political will at the highest level. That will drive change and get people together. Number two, you got to have strong public-private private sector collaboration and partnership. Because public and the government can do all the policies, but you need to incentivize the public private sector to move business forward. Number three, you got to have strong um, talent, you got to develop upskilling of the SMEs in terms of understanding, implementing the policies. Uh, number four is inclusiveness. You got to get all the youth, the women, all level societies to be part of the sustainability agenda. And number five, and very important, communication and coordination. You got to communicate the success stories to all other um, uh, uh, countries in the world, sharing knowledge experience, and you got to coordinate all efforts so that you will achieve your targets. That's the key things I will learn today. Thank you. There's really an awful lot to unpack in what you've said. And I do think it's very important that it starts from the top and that there's regu there are regulations which encourage your companies to include circularity in what they do. But when you're looking at these exporters who want to go beyond Asian markets into other places like Europe and the US, I know you have a program for that. What's one top tip for them? One. I think the biggest tip is you got to be committed. Committed to what you do. You can, we, cannot, we cannot afford to have someone doing halfway and then go back. You've got to be committed and always, always come back to us. You've got to have a strong collaboration with the government and all other stakeholders in order to fulfill uh, exports for green uh, trade. Thank you. So we've heard it, don't be afraid to approach partners, including government partners, stay committed, stay the course, because then trade can happen. Thank you.